So if you think about what is Copilot, so Copilot really is the name of any large language model that is being used in a variety of different ways. So if you think about AI, uh, artificial intelligence, and this generative AI or this chat GPT, as many people know it, right? Chat GPT is essentially a large language model that has been that is pulling 1.7 trillion parameters across the internet and other fonts of knowledge and being able to return information back to you in a way that makes sense based on how you prompt or ask questions of that information. So this concept of a large language model is really the engine that goes and looks at all that information and then comes back with, allows you to come back with a response or response to that prompt. So that's really what Copilot is. So when you hear Microsoft talk about Copilot, they're talking about using some kind of large language model. And they have different uses of each of these things. And that's partly why it can be a little bit confusing to understand what it is. And they've now started to brand things as Copilot for X, Copilot for Microsoft 365, or Copilot for uh, teams or whatever it might be. So again, in all those cases, it's really taking this large language model and pointing it at a certain amount of information. So I saw this dial online. I thought it was a really good representation of where Microsoft Copilot pulls together all of the various Microsoft uh, products and solutions as well too that have just recently been announced. So the first big announcement is that Bing Search is now going to be changed into Copilot. So I've talked a little bit at some of our conferences about Bing, Bing Search Enterprise, which is what I recommend that people end up using if you're searching for information internally, because Bing Search or Bing Chat Enterprise will keep, you, keep your prompts from going out to the overall large language model. So if you go out to just regular bing.com on your phone and you search and say, hey, my <clears throat> product is made up of these various things, what can I do to make it better? Well, that search engine can now take back the question that you asked it and feed that back to the engine. So that information now becomes public information because someone else, if they ask the right question, might be able to discover what you put in there as the elements of your product. So what Bing Chat Enterprise does is allows your prompt and your searches to remain within your tenant. So when you ask a question, it doesn't go back out to the overall model. So Bing Chat Enterprise is now included with Microsoft 365 Business Standard or Business Premium, as well as the E3 and E5 licenses. So the E3 and E5 are enterprise licenses that are typically for companies that have 300 or more employees. So underneath that number, you typically would buy a business standard or business premium. So if you're using Outlook and Exchange and Teams and things like that today, you're generally on either the business standard or business premium licenses. If you're a small business, an E3 or E5 if you're a larger business. If you want to buy it, but you don't have any of those licenses today or Microsoft 365 at all, you can buy it for $5 a user mo a month. But what's shifting with this name of Copilot is they're adding three things to this search capability. <clears throat> so not only can you search the internet and you know the engine behind GPT-4, but you can also search internally within Microsoft with this Copilot search. So you can now point it on all of your Teams data or all of your um, Outlook data or whatever and search through that as well too. So that's what makes this a little distinctive then. It's not just searching the internet, it's also searching your own tenant. Um, you can, again, keep your prompts and responses are processed within your tenant boundary so it's not going back to Microsoft. And then you can use this search tool in some of your other applications. So if you're in Outlook and you want to search, uh, have a better search of your Outlook history, this can provide that for you as well. So this is in, in preview, but you'll see this come out very soon. And I do think this is a great tool for everyone to look at and adopt. I mean, this is just going to be such a better search engine than what you have today. 
within team search or when even within your outlook search plus you have the ability to search the whole internet this way this is going to be a really compelling experience so now let's talk about microsoft 365 copilot so this chart shows the list of features that are part of microsoft 365 copilot and there's quite a bit of excitement about it but it's not available for everybody yet so i want to just talk a little bit about that so it did become generally available on November 1st, but only for enterprise clients. So right now it's, a, it's available to clients who have that Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license. So typically 300 or more users. That's who can get access to this Microsoft 365 Copilot. There's an additional cost to it. So it's $30 a user a month beyond what you're paying today for your E3 or E5 license. So just make sure that you're aware of it. It's not included with the standard E3 or E5 license. And uh, right now it's just available on enterprise agreements. So if you, have, if you are buying from a partner directly using cloud solution provider program, it's not available in that program yet. It's only available through a volume licensing agreement or enterprise agreement. And it's probably, I've heard anywhere from six to 12 months away from being available on the business standard or premium. So on the, the smaller business price list. And that's just because they're trying to build out enough scale in the Azure data center to be able to support it all. One thing you can do though, is if you wanna get a taste of this, you can see the Teams section on there. You can get Microsoft Teams premium for $7 a user a month on top of your Teams license, and then you can start to get things like the ability to automatically take notes of any meeting that you're in uh, to be able to ask it to summarize your meetings, uh, to be able to record action items that occur in your meetings. So there's some pretty powerful stuff that's in Teams Premium. So that's a good place for you to start if you want to start using some of the generative AI capabilities that are available today and you're not an enterprise client. So next I wanna talk about Copilot Studio. So Virtual Agents is this tool that's been part of Power Platform called Power Virtual Agents. And it allows you to be able to create a bot, essentially a bot that could be on your website or could be something that you use in a, in a portal from a customer service standpoint. But when you go out and ask questions, it will give you an answer. Well, what Copilot Studio now allows you to be able to do is it allows you to take this experience and just create, uh, to be able to use the engine from the internet as well, like the GPT-4 model, but as well as you can point this at the data source of your choice. And that allows you to create a lot better tailored conversations. In the past, when you set up the bot, you have to give it the questions that you want it to be able to answer. So like our store hours are 11 a.m. to 8 p.m you know, you type what are our store hours and then you can spit back this question or spit back this answer to that question. But in the new model now, it can search your data sets to be able to give those answers without you having to type all of them in, which is pretty powerful. You can quickly build, test and publish these standalone co-pilots. You can even have them just point at a small amount of information and automatically create it. Like I created one that just points at our stoneridgesoftware.com blog and be able, and it's able to spit back answers that we've written blogs about over the years. Um, you can manage these and secure them uh, with standalone co-pilots as well too. So Copilot Studio I think is a great tool. Uh, if you're doing customer service today, you really should look at how Copilot Studio can help you be more effective there, help you deflect questions that you're getting, having to have humans answer today. So another new name is Copilot for Sales. So Viva Sales is the name of the Outlook client that CRM users have typically used to be able to track conversations that they have over email. So Microsoft recently changed that to Viva Sales and now they're changing the name again to Microsoft Sales Copilot or Copilot for Sales. So this is really your companion if you are a seller or a customer service rep. And so this enables you to really connect your CRM system, so your case history or your email conversations, your opportunities to 
outlook and to teams. So think about this as like the previous outlook client, but far better than it was before. So it's very well embedded within your Outlook or Teams application. So as you're using those, you can reference information that's coming from your CRM system. Now it's included if you're on the sales enterprise and premium subscriptions. Uh, it also does work with salesforce.com as well. But in those cases, if you don't have a premium or enterprise license or you're a Salesforce user, it's $40 a user a month for that access. And there is a free trial too, if you wanna try this out. We've started using this internally and it certainly is effective. It gives you suggestions on how to write emails um, or provide responses back to questions that you've gotten. It's super uh, slick and saves a lot of time. So there's a new announcement around Copilot for service or Copilot, think about this as Copilot for customer service. So this is the dynamic evolution of the Dynamics 365 customer service kind of co-pilot or assistant app. So it allows you to ask questions of incidents. So if like if you've ever been a support engineer before, sometimes you pick up an incident that's got like 12 emails in it and you wanna get up to speed pretty quickly on it. You can ask it to summarize that incident for you. It will create intelligent responses for you uh, it will allow you to search databases of your choice as well, too, to help you get answers more quickly. And you can summarize those conversations back at the end. Like one of the things we used to do when I was at Microsoft in support is when we were closing out the case, we'd want to summarize the details of the case, especially if there had been multiple interactions there. Now you, it will do that just right for you now. So you can point this large language model at support case history, at knowledge base history, at any data source of your choice to be able to make that information easily searchable or you can interact with that information using these bots. So this is gonna go into public preview in early December and then it will be generally available in the first quarter of next year. And this will be an add-on cost of $50 a user per month in addition to your customer service license that you might have with Dynamics 365 as well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I thought I'd try to provide some background on some of the major announcements and what these co-pilots for different things are. If you wanna learn more, you can actually go and watch all of the Ignite sessions at ignite.microsoft.com. There are a couple of good YouTube channels that I like to follow. Microsoft Mechanics is provides a little deeper dive from Microsoft. And Lisa Crosby is another person who provides some great updates, especially as it relates to Dynamics 365 for sales out there. But then I'd also encourage you to check out every other Thursday, Stone Ridge offers a confab. It's available on LinkedIn. So Thursdays at 11 a.m. Central Time, you can go out and get the latest from our pre-sales architect team. So Scott Verpeer and the team will be sharing information about this and demoing this kind of capability for you as well too. So I highly encourage you to check that out. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us here at Stone Ridge Software and we're happy to help you with any licensing questions or explain any of these new co-pilots to you as well. So thank you.